Yeah, so we are standing here with James, co-founder of Mixer. And is this your first E3? It's my first E3, yes it is. How are you feeling? Are you overwhelmed? Are you feeling pretty good? So I've been to ton of, tons of conventions, so I'm used to this type of uh, show. So uh, really, really busy, but it's an awesome experience. Okay, that's awesome. Well, it's good to know that you're not being worn out because you are among other fellow geeks and nerds, and we know you gotta keep the shoes cushioned and the snacks with you and all that good stuff. So tell us what's going on over here at the Mixer booth. Yeah, so if you haven't heard about us, we're Mixer. You can find us at Mixer.com, where it's an interactive streaming platform that allows for viewers to control parts of the gameplay that they're watching. We're able to do this by having a fourth of a second delay. So where most platforms have anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds, we have a fourth of a second, which lets you interact and influence the games you're watching. So what do we have going on behind us right now? So who's actually controlling these little bots? I feel like this is like a mini version of like Rocket League happening right now. So I'm kind of like super excited. Yeah, so we've got two robots here that are being controlled by the streams, the, by the people watching the stream. So there's about 100 people watching and they're, they've joined either the pink team or the blue team and they're pressing on basically they're at home, they're watching you know, from their laptops, from their wherever, from their console, and they're controlling the buttons that we place below the stream, left, right, forward, backwards, and they're as a collective controlling these robots to push the soccer balls into the goal. That is a lot. Have you ever played iDARP? So iDARB also has an interactive feature in it where like you can literally tweet and people will like do all this crazy stuff. So that's another thing that this reminded me of. Is there any other cool things that we should know about Mixer? Like how many people can stream on at one time on the same screen? Yeah, so we launched a feature called co-streaming, which allows uh, four broadcasters to join their streams together and basically merge it all into one page. So you can go to one page, view all four perspectives, and have one chat that you can chat with everybody across all four streams. So that's really cool. Um, you know, you're able to do that, and you're able to see all your friends stream together. Is there anything else cool we should know about Mixer? I mean, like, I feel like you really just have to kind of go on and experience it, really. Um, how much did you change the interface? Like the to like you know being able to search and everything through through without mixing. Yeah, so a couple weeks ago we changed the name from Beam, which you might have heard of us as, uh, to Mixer. So unfortunately we just couldn't use the Beam name globally. So it's something we really love the name Mixer. We're able to take it, promote it worldwide now, bring on a larger audience. Uh, you're able to stream directly from your Xbox. We're bringing that ecosystem in now. So if you haven't checked this out, make sure you do. So we're definitely going to be mixing it up sometime soon. We're going to have some good mixer streams going. I really appreciate you talking to me. We appreciate it. Um, anything cool that's coming up? Are you going to do anything special? or uh, Nothing new to announce just yet. Well, we'll definitely be looking forward to that. Thanks, James. <laughs>